Okay, coffee is ready, now it's time to prepare the milk. Hey guys, it's Aleš from European Coffee Trip and in this video I will show you how to make flat white or any coffee milk drink without espresso machine using only the air press and a simple flask. So, a recent video about making cappuccino at home got popular, what made us really, really happy. And even though we like the idea of using only French press to do it, we think there are other options and tools that can make the process easier. That's why we'll use the air press to make coffee and a simple flask to foam the milk. Before we get started, let's talk about flat white for a bit. For me personally, a flat white is a beverage to choose if you want to drink coffee with milk, but tastes more coffee than milk. It's usually done using a double shot of espresso and served in the same or smaller cup than a cappuccino, which means there is less milk. I usually prefer to order something called cortado, which follows the same principle, but use only one shot of espresso. So we will use this Laveramix cup, created in the partnership with the world barista champion Dale Harris. So this is a cappuccino cup that is 200 milliliters, and this is for flat white, it's 150 milliliters. So we will aim for 50 milliliters of coffee and 100 milliliters of milk. So let's get started. Step one, making coffee. First thing we need to do is to make coffee. I will use the air press because I believe it's the easiest way how to make strong coffee brews without an espresso machine. I will use 14 grams of freshly roasted coffee. Grind it very fine, like espresso grind size. Put the air press in a regular position. Then add 70 grams of 93 degrees Celsius water. Stir it for about 20 seconds. And slowly press it down. You should have about 50 grams of strong coffee in your cup, ready to be diluted with milk. We use a naturally processed coffee from Uganda, roasted by 50 beans in Brno. I think that African naturals with a sweet taste and fruity flavors, in this case red apple and blueberries, are perfect for mixing with milk. Okay, coffee is ready, now it's time to prepare the milk. Step 2. Heating the milk. The most important is to start with a quality full-fat milk. For one flat white, you will need about 100 milliliters. Now, we need to heat it up for about 60 degrees Celsius. In this method, it's okay to stay even lower, but you shouldn't go above 70 degrees Celsius. I don't have a microwave oven at home, so I use the stove. But since we don't have this in the office, our option for today is to use this burner. I will monitor the temperature with a simple thermometer or by tasting with a spoon. You just heat it up to your desired drinking temperature. Now, milk is ready for foaming. Step 3. Foaming the milk. I get the idea of using a flask to prepare milk for flat white when making baby milk for my little daughter. Then, I found there are more people using this technique on the internet and I decided to test it out. And it works really well. You need to have a flask that you can fully close. I found these two small insulated flasks at home. Insulation is good because you will shake a hot beverage in your hands. You shouldn't fill it over 50% because you need some space inside for proper shaking and also there is a pressure building up inside of the flask. If it's too hot, you can use a kitchen towel to protect your hands. So the volume of this flask is about 350 milliliters and this one is half a liter. So if I need to make only one flat white, this would be more than enough. But if I need to make more cups, I think I would need to use this one or even bigger. Now you need to shake it out and create a foam in your milk. There will be much more bubbles and the foam won't be as thick as you are used from frothing or steaming the milk. By swirling it a lot, you can bring it all together though and create a decent milk for your flat white. Step four, mixing coffee with milk. 
Now it's time to mix coffee and milk. You can pour it directly from a flask, but I recommend to pour it into another vessel. At home, I would use a small measuring cup with a spout or ideally a latte art pitcher. It will help you to mix foam and milk, break big bubbles and improve pouring. Okay, coffee is ready, milk is ready. Now it's time for some latte art. We are not really expert, but at least since it's flat white, there should be some white on top. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video and that we give you more options for making flat white or any coffee milk drink at home. And we'd love to know what's your experience. If you try it at home, if you like it or if you don't like it, whatever, let us know in the comments. And I'm looking forward to see you in the next video very, very soon. Bye bye.